Hi all. So I'm a little annoyed right now because I thought I did a whole video recording, putting up all this art, and I didn't. But that's okay because honestly, it was really long and boring process. <laughs> um, there was a few funny things that happened that I can totally duplicate. But um, sorry, a fly just went in my ear. There's only one fly in here, and it's, like, so evil to me. Um, but I did want to make, like, a little walkthrough video of to show all the different art that I have now placed in here and, like, how cool you can make your space look in painting VR. And I'm really excited for it um, because now I can come in here and feel inspired because I have my friends and not my friends, some people I just barely know is artwork up. So, um, I'll kind of go on a little tour here. So first is Fane's. This is a Fane's Ernesto Ash Club from when we were doing Tez Trash on Tezos. Um, this is a Crypto Fanes piece, which is a video. Both of these are animated, but I just, like, have the stills up, um, and they look really cool. Uh, this is, a uh, Yol Yolando, Yolanda, Yol oh, Yol uh, piece. They're from, Yolanda from Brazil. No, that's Yolanda from Brazil. Sorry. This is... Let's take a look. References. Open. Oh, actually. Um, Ulina Maria. Sorry. Um, I'm really sorry for that. Uh, it's the naked people. I got it confused. I was like, naked, naked, naked. Um. But yeah, Uina Maria, I also believe a Brazilian artist, South American at least. I'm not very familiar with who they are. I just have this piece, and it's one of my favorite pieces that I've collected on hand. Like, it's just it's perfection in so many different ways, which is part of the reason I have it huge up here and uh, kind of dominating the space. It just brightens my mood and... It makes me feel good in a lot of ways. Then here we have a Loopy Moon, a classic, P. Palma, and Espinosa. I really realized these all like kind of fit in together. These two are animated. This one's not. But like the starry black sky theme, it really like fell in together. And then this is NFT Murder, and this is Witch Witch. And both are really cool and there's a really cool like glitch effect going on on which which is let's appreciate that um yeah stuck look at his little murder face let's let's boop him murder okay whoa okay um here we have a little section. I put these together because I realized their color combos really like fit together. Um, here is Wonder Mundo. This is like she's got my back. That's why I put her here because I'm gonna be working here, and it's like I know she's got her Crypto Kitty's got my back. Yeah, and then um, Diego and Ygriga, Ygriga, however you want, however he says it, and. Yeah, and I just really loved, like, I realized the colors of these all kind of, like, flowed together. And honestly, looking at it, I'm going to do this quick. Because, um, there we go. Yeah. Um, her piece has both the colors, and then, yeah, that makes more sense visually. Uh, yeah. I want, okay. 
Um, but yeah, they all have like a very similar color, even though like their forms are somewhat different. I just really liked how they fit together as a triad. And oh man, okay. Um, here we have Shaolin and Shaolin here. I just love this piece. Heaven is where you and I kiss each other. It's like so cheesy and saccharine. Um, but I love it. This is a Ralph Steadman that I own that I recently acquired on Tez and I'm so stoked about it. And I wanted it here, like in the little news area and the rabbit is like, eh, hey, falling down the rabbit hole. But then the whole idea of like, I'm painting here. Um, I kind of like, I don't know Ralph personally at all. I am so thrilled that I can own a piece of his in crypto. Like, I think that's so, so amazing that he did that and put that out there and it was affordable. It was only 10 Tez. Which to me, like, I'm, you know, like, not super rich right now at all. I'm still trying to struggle to get sales. And I just, like, I am so stoked that, like, I could afford to get one of his pieces. This is Yolando, Brazil. And, like, I love, oops. I love this piece so much. Like, I love the color frame. I love the drawing in here. I love the content. I love like the intimacy, but also like distance felt. There's a lot going on here that I could pick apart. Um, with the hood on, like it's very kink driven. And they're obviously having like a lot of trust right now because like washing or shaving that area, the clothes, the shoes, it's so good. The androgyny, um, the patterning in here. This is excellent. This is top tier work. Everything I have in here is top tier, but this piece and this piece, like, let's pull this one down so you can, like, see. I know, like, it's more simple and graphic, but it's just the mines here and then like how visual oh the orange and or the purple and red play out it's just fantastic work absolutely fantastic like no joke fantastic Okay, uh, here's High Techo. I, <laughs> I accidentally figured out you can put art outside the window, and I just thought it was so funny to have the giant cat girl and the cat out there, like they're running on the roof together. Um, here's Pretty Bad Crypto. Um, I love this piece so much. Oh, Die and I. Let's not forget Die and I. Um, and one of the first pieces I collected on Tezos, Schema Remedy, and pretty bad my dad i joke but max capacity um one of his great pieces it's still but like look at how good that looks as if it was a print so good let's glitch it someone i adore so so much um who's helped me so much in my crypto art career and i just love this piece it's animated this all of the almost all of these are animated. The these two I don't know if he animated this one. I think he did. High Techos is and we remember Days and Kate Curse and then here's Amber's um which is this beautiful like macro photography glitch situation going on that is the colors and it's calming like i would have this piece in a like a bathroom like i'd want to like be in a bath like staring at this just relaxing i would say bedroom but like i would have yolando's piece or um yuna's piece in a bedroom but anyway um yeah and I put my artway down here I don't need to look at it daily 
I just want to have what I've worked on up. I think that feels good. So yeah, I that's a tour of my studio in painting VR, and it's pretty exciting. I have some art up in here, so next time I start working, I'm more inspired and. I feel like more at home in here like it always feels better to have like art from people you love and like art that you love I mean it's just natural that art you become friends with artists that you love their art because like you love their art and their art is them and that's just kind of how it goes you know and just cleaning up here I don't know why that brush is thrown all the way over there I obviously was having something go on. And yeah, that is um oops. Like also Matt, like, I'm gonna, like, collab with Max, I think, and, like, other people who have their work be CC0, so, like, watch, I'm totally <laughs> going off the rails, so I just want to, like, do this one thing quick, and then I'll end the video, so let's open, since I have these all loaded now, open, it didn't, no, okay, let's, uh, throw this on the floor, Let's pour some paint on it. Let's get, I haven't tried paint pouring and it's gonna be like, if we're gonna do it with anyone, we should do it with Max, right? Let's make it big old boy. Okay. And we're gonna sample. Let's do the little guy. No, like, we love this green. Never mind. What happens? Oh, it's just a little bit. What if I hold it in the spot? That's 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 only a tiny bit. What's going on? Okay, let's try the big one. All right. What? That's it. That's it. Well, I thought it would be more pory. Oh, let's just throw stuff. So, like, the more splashy brush is this the splash o yeah that's the splash show so let's let's yeah you can't pull splatter on it this is fun <laughs> right anyway so it's cool because CC0 stuff, I can like, or anyone who wants to club, I can bring their work in and like paint on it. That's pretty exciting. Pretty exciting. What happens if I just throw the paintbrush? <laughs> it stops having paint on it. Um, I'm going to throw the paint can though. Oh, yeah. That's better gotta throw the paint can what if I like okay one last thing and then I'm gonna like stop messing around and let you let y'all go what if I put what if I do this Oh, there we go. And it even has like a little glitchy effect on it too. 
This is going to give me motion sickness pretty quick, though. <laughs> That's actually kind of cool. Um, I may need to roll with this. I probably am going to save it. Um, but I like how it, like, it is a little glitchy of a paint, way to paint. Um, yeah, I'm going to throw this again. It's fun throwing stuff. Yeah, so that is my walkthrough of the art I put up and messing around, I guess, a little bit with showing how can collab and what do we always do before we quit? Save. We save. Let's do a new file. So I don't know if we'll save or that, but also I just want to like keep a fresh one in there. So yeah, I am. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. Um, let me know if you have any questions about any of the artists or if there's anything else you would like to see me do or any requests. Um, I w may or may not do them, but I definitely will listen to them. And yeah, have a great night, day, whatever time of day it is, and be kind.